morning, my name is Jacob Folger, I'm an artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a dragon on a rock. And uh, just to let you know, I'm shooting this particular clip over because I had problems with the first clip, uh, the last clip. Um, so I'm using a different rock than I will be using for the rest of the video. And um, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, seal the rock and we're using an acrylic product that I'll put the name in the video description down below the video. Uh, it just seals the rock so it'll take the clay better and should you not be able to find that product wherever you happen to be um, I will list some also some places that you can some other products that you can use uh, also in the uh, tool and supply list. Now if there are any cracks or crevices or holes or anything in the rock you should work them in like you can do it like this with a brush and you just want to get one good coat on the rock and then if you're using the acrylic product you want to wash your brush in water and I have that off to the side here. We'll set this off here for a minute and let it dry and then we'll start getting uh, getting started here. <clears throat> I'm using polymer clay. This is Sculpey 3 brand and uh, you want to uh, knead and condition the clay before using it. I did that a bit before I turned on the camera and we're going to make a uh, a little stand for the stone. So that's what we're doing first. Now I do recommend uh, Sculpey 3 brand clay for this project because it sticks better to the rock. Okay? And then uh, we'll roll it into a ball and get it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on a business card. You can use a piece of paper just so it doesn't stick to the table. And press it down so it becomes flat on the bottom. So, and it's, uh, you know, fairly well shaped. So, like, it, it's flat on the bottom, as you can see. And that's going to hold the stone. And then I'm going to take the stone and set it on top of the mound that I just made and press it down into it. And that will hold the stone. And you want to check and make sure the stone is sitting upright check it from different angles okay next we're going to start the body of the uh, dragon let's start off with a little bit of clay start forming it into a ball roll it into a ball get it nice and smooth and then start rolling it so it's kind of this shaped like that and then you can start rolling it on the table and what we're doing here is creating the body of the dragon so it's going to have a large larger part here this side will be the tail and this side will be the head and neck If you roll it on the table, it will keep it more uniform. Just continuing, continuing to roll it, rolling the tail out. I can bring some more clay into the tail by 
starting up here and rolling backwards to towards the end of the tail kind of brings it gives us more tail that way start working on the um, the head and neck drawing clay from a from the bigger part here down into the neck almost looks like the Loch Ness Monster at this point want to keep everything really uniform that looks about right for the neck and head the end just uh, close that up if it's um, got a little hole in it from rolling it you can just dab it with your thumb and fingers like that about the tail how the tail is going to look on this setup on here and see if the tail is long enough for what I want to do I might want it a little bit longer so I'm going to take some from the body and just move my hand to the left like that get it a little bit longer Okay, now we'll bring the stone closer to us. Make sure it's all straight, all the way around. Pick the best side for the front. I think probably this side. And then we can just set the dragon on top and in a twisting motion like this. Just twist it into the stone, into the rock. And then now we're going to bring the tail around with a nice smooth flowing, uh, we don't want it to look um, crimped or cramped or anything like that. We want it to be very smooth and flowing. Let's see, like that, press it gently into the rock. Whoops. Press it gently into the rock. And then you can take your, now you, you don't want to push it hard into the rock because it'll spread it out and make it all funny looking. So, but you can take your thumb like this. See how I'm doing kind of a circular motion with my thumb? Kind of massaging it without squishing it. And that, We'll work it into the rock a little bit. See how I'm doing that? There we go. Okay. So that's on there pretty good. And then for the head, I want to bring the neck up again with a fairly uh, fluid motion of the of the neck, so it's not. Um, crimped or or in a V or anything like that but like a smooth transition you can put your finger there and um, put your finger there and then maybe turn it this way a little bit since it's facing this is the front of the sculpture. So there's the start for the dragon. 
Okay, now we're going to work on the face of the dragon. So with the ball tool, like similar to this here, we're going to put an indentation here for the eyeball, for the eye socket. And we want to go over to the opposite side in the same spot, and you can put your finger there to get the spot. Put another uh, eye socket right there. If you turn it, it works better. The tool will work better if you turn it like this. Rotate it. Sorry, I didn't realize we were off camera. All right, here we go. Like that. And then uh, we'll take a little bit of clay, just a tiny ball. It's going to be pretty small. Like that. And set it in the eye, eye socket, and see if it fits okay. If it fits, take it out and roll another ball the same size. There we go. So we want to roll another ball the same size as that. That one's too big. So I'm going to take some off, roll it again. Still a little bit too big. Take a little bit more clay off. And that's about right. So put it in the eye socket. It's actually still a little bit too big. So I want to take a little bit more off. Roll it again. I don't really want it bulging out of the eye, eye socket. And then here. That's a little bit big, so I'm going to take it, take a little bit off. There we go. Now we want kind of like dragon eye, a dragon eye. Um, it's just basically a line that goes from the top of the eyeball down to the bottom. like that and then the other eye like that now we're going to make an eyelid with just a small ball of clay starting with a small ball of clay rolling it into a noodle like this kind of sharpened on the ends that might be a little bit big let's make that a little bit smaller put it position it over the eye like that and then blend it into the top of the head with your thumb like that and then we'll get the other side whoops be a little bit smaller pointed on the ends Match it up with the other side. And 
and then blend it in with your thumb. Now, the longer you make the nose, they tend to be uh, more unfriendly, and the shorter the nose is, like it is here, it's more of a friendly dragon. Then we can take um, a small paintbrush like this one here. This is the end of the paintbrush and put a nostril in like that and then turn it and put a nostril on the other side to match the one on the on the front on, on this side you can if you have trouble blending with your thumb you can use a tool like this to blend which blending is just drawing the clay from one part to another and, and giving it a smooth transition There we go. He looks pretty cool. So, um, next we're going to make a spade for the tail. My video camera is acting up there. And we're going to roll a ball and then roll it into a cone shape. So it's um, kind of like that. And then uh, I'm going to squeeze it so that it's a point at the top, like that. See how it comes to kind of a uh, kind of spade shaped. And then I'm going to uh, spread this out a little bit, like that. kind of sharpen the base of it by squeezing it and pinching it. Sharpen the end. I'm just shaping it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on the tip of the tail. And then I'm going to shape it to kind of follow the, the curvature of the tail. And press gently against the rock. And again, you can hold it like this and do circles, circles, to work it into the rock without squishing it against the rock. So it looks like that. See? Like that. Now we're going to start adding scales. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to start the legs. I'm going to do the legs first. So we move this back out of the way. And I'm going to start off with a ball. And then I'm going to make another ball the same size so the legs will be the same amount of clay. So I've got two balls about the same size. Just want them to be smooth. Now I'm going to start to roll it into a cone shape. Like this. And then bend it. 
like this. And that will go for the back leg. And you can position it on the rock like that. Blend it in to the body. Bring it a little bit closer so you can see that. Just blending it into the body. And then we'll Following that same design, we'll uh, roll another that's similar from that other ball. Into a, uh, that shape there. It's going to go on the other side, so we just want we want them to be similar. So. That's about the same as that one. Come around to the other side. Look at it from a top view so you know that it's going to be the same on the same you know basic idea as the other one. Blend it into the body. See? And then work it into the rock by doing circles, circles, like this, without squishing it into the rock. Okay? Then we'll uh, do the front legs. We need smaller balls this time for the front legs. put them all right first I'm sorry I want to roll two balls the same size usually I can just eyeball it and do it myself like that um, and I don't have any problem and so sometimes I forget I'm on camera so and I'm doing a tutorial so I want to start with two balls the same size that one's too big so make it a little bit smaller There we go, we got two now. And then roll them into little noodles and make them slightly cone shaped like that. Make two the same size. Slightly cone shaped. So they're like that. And then You can blend them into the uh, into the dragon. Put them on the stone where you want them, and do circles to get them to sink into the stone a little bit better. You can look at it from a, the top view. To get make sure it's in the right spot on the body, blend it in. Like that. Now we'll do his toes. Okay, so now we're gonna do the toes. What you do is you roll a little ball. And put a point on it by just rolling it at one end, one end, so it looks like this. Start with the toe closest to the body, like that, and blend it into the leg, into the lower part of the leg, like that, and do very gentle circles with your thumb on the or finger on the. Uh, on the toe. Then get another piece of clay, roll another toe. This one should be a little bit longer than the first one. Like that. 
and blend it in to the leg. Take some patience to do this, to, you know, to get used to doing it and working with your hands in this manner. It takes, uh, takes some time to get used to it, to get used to um, doing intricate things with your fingers. And work your, work the uh, toes into the stone gently. You can take a sculpting tool and just just touch it there in between the toes. We'll do the back leg and the other back leg. A bit of clay. starting closest to the body first. A toe on. Blend it in to the lower part of the leg. This one, the middle toe will be a little bit longer than the uh, other toe. Roll it to a point. Don't forget to do circles to seat it on the stone. Another piece of clay. Put it on, blend it in. circles gently so when you're doing this just give yourself some give yourself some space to learn get your hands used to doing things like this practice give yourself time and patience Practice it as much as you can, doing all kinds of different projects. Try to use your fingers as much as possible. I'm not going to work that into the stone yet because I've got the other foot going next to it and I want it to make sure that it's going to work out okay before I uh, work it into the stone. Then I'll do this for it. Roll it to a point. Make the middle toe a little bit longer.
just uh, kind of cut it in so it looks nice and natural. And then do circles to seat on the stone. And that's what we've got so far. We're going to put scales on the tail and the body. So what I do is I roll little balls, start off with little balls, roll them into like kind of, kind of shaped like the toes, pointed on one end. Start it onto the spade like this, and uh, blend it into the uh, blend it into the tail. Then make another one, just little balls. Roll it into a point. Overlap the other toe, or the, uh, the other uh, scale a little bit. Blend it into the tail. And have it curve around like that. See how it's curving around? Like that, overlapping and curving around. Roll another one. Blend it into the tail. And just keep going. Put another one on. Gonna shape it to the tail, the way the tail is going. There we go. Kind of coming up on top of the dragon now. You can get a different orientation, look at it a different way. Make sure they're straight and going up the spine where the spine would be on the dragon.
Let's see, a little bit pointier on that. Let's see, uh, moving a toe here. You gotta watch where your fingers go. You can use a small end of a paintbrush to blend that into the neck. Give it a nice curve, curve to it. And then we'll probably stop it there and we're going to take, we're going to make a horn for him. Push him out of the way, roll a doodle. Sharpen it at the ends by rolling it at the ends. And then we'll fold it in half. And do this. Twist it. So it looks like this. See? Just put it on top of his head, press it into place, yeah, that looks cool, huh? Okay, now we're going to make the wings. Okay, we're going to start the wings, we're going to roll two balls of clay the same size, kind of like we did the, uh, the legs, and uh, That one's a little small, so I'm going to add some clay to it. See how that is. Yeah, that's about right. Two balls the same size. Now we're going to roll a cone. like that. Maybe a little bit longer to a point at the end. Make sure it's uniform. You can roll it against the table to make sure it's uniform. Like that. And then roll another one the same way, the same size and shape. So we got to roll it out the same size and shape. Rolling it against the table helps.
so it looks like that okay now we're going to squeeze it with our thumb and fingers fingers on that back side and the thumb about a quarter inch down from the top so it makes it a little rib there And you don't want you you don't want this real thin. You want it to be fairly thick. So it's like that. You can smooth it by drawing your thumb along it like that. Sometimes the texture is nice that it's got in there from my thumb. Like that. And then the other wing has to be going the other direction. So squeeze it going this way. I kind of like the little marks there that it's making, my thumb is making. I don't know if I want to smooth that out. See if they're about the same thickness. This one needs to be a little thinner. Okay. Now we're going to take some wire. Now this is uh, 18 gauge copper wire. And um, let me get some snips here. Um, I'm just going to make a, a length about like that. Cut it off and make another length about the same length. This will just make the wings a little bit stronger where they join the body. And then fold it over. And kind of fold it all the way over like that and then twist it and that will make it stronger and you only need it to be about two inches long it should look like this and you can cut off the, uh, the excess and then watch those flying wires because they can uh, they can uh, get on your floor and get in your feet. And then cut off the excess watch those flying wires. Best to hold on to it like that. Just don't cut yourself. Okay. Now we put one end in the wing where it's going to go on the body. Like that. that and then you want to score where it's going to join score the wing where it's going to join the body decide where it's going to go which is right about about above the uh, front leg put a mark there and score that too this just makes it stronger and then slide it in and twist it into into place. And then you can blend it in to the body. And then you can position it how you want.
you can use a tool if you're having trouble blending it with your fingers but just use a light touch so you don't scar it all up and put the other wing on in the same spot but before we do remember we have to score the body score the wing put it on with a twisting motion blend it into the body Might have to get that seated better before we uh, finish up. I like to look at it from different directions to see that everything is um, about the same. Sometimes it's better to um, bring the wing down to the body and attach it somewhere on the tail or something like that. So it's not out in the uh, out in the air like that. And you can put it in different places. I'm blending it in just to attach it. But then you can take a sculpting tool like this. And make a, a mark where it ends. Like that so it looks like it's um, not really attached. See like that. So there we are. Now we'll put a finish on it. Before finishing it, if you like, there's a couple things you can do for the uh, finish of the body. You can take a small paintbrush like this and with a little bit of water on it and just smooth it out. Just take your time and go around and smooth it out. That's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can stipple the body. Let me get a ball tool here. You can stipple the body by just taking a tool and putting marks in that will give it kind of a scaly like finish. And just go around and do the whole dragon that way. And the other thing you can do is you can leave it so that the sculpting marks are in, which is what I like, because I like the way the finish looks on it, to have it kind of rough and um, sculpting marks in. So that's how I'm going to leave it for this. And then um, I think I'm going to, I want to, I mean, there's different colors, there's different colors. This product is called Prolex Pigments. I really like my dragons in purple. I just... I just like them that way. You might like, uh, this is actually Reflex Violet. I think I'm going to use that. But you might like blue. Uh, this is Duo Red Blue. It's really a nice finish. Um, when the light hits it, sometimes it looks blue. Sometimes it looks purple or pink. And so that's really neat. And then uh, green. They have different tints of green. This is Spring Green. But I think I'm going to use purple, and part of the reason why is because I'm going to highlight it in bronze, 
when I'm done putting the purple on and it just looks so good and I just want to I want to do that for this video okay so I'm going to take it and put it into the lid here and get a brush and I'm going to get the brush a little bit wet and squeeze off the water like this and then dip it into the reflex violet and then dab it on the table to get the excess off and then just paint it on the contrast between the purple and the bronze is just gorgeous and I really like it that way so I'm I really like doing it that way You can steady it so it doesn't move around on you. You can like I'm holding the, the tail with my thumb so it just doesn't move around so much. I'm going to get a little bit more water on the brush, squeeze it off like that. You know, a little bit of practice, you could be a real dragon maker. I bet these things would fly at a craft show. I kind of avoid the eyes so they'll be black when I put the bronze when I put the bronze on.
You also can buy rocks online, if I didn't say that already, and I, I should say that if you look in the video description down below the video, in the tool and supply list, you'll see a source where you can buy rocks like this. They're not very expensive, and shipping is really inexpensive, really affordable, I think. You'd be surprised, maybe. Okay. So now um, I'm going to get a little brush. I'm going to get my bronze. I've got bronze in a lid here. This is antique bronze. And I'm going to get the brush a little bit wet. Get a little bit of uh, bronze on it. Dab it off. Dab off the excess. And do the eyes. You steady your hand with one hand, with the other hand. Okay, now I take take my finger and dip it into the bronze and swirl it with a with my th with my thumb and then put it just highlight the wing with it maybe the toes The horn, the eye, eyelids, eyebrows, And the scales and so I usually do the um, top of the spade it really is pretty I don't know if it shows up on the video like I like I can see it but boy it's gorgeous There we go. Now you'll want to bake this of course and if you look in the video description down below the video you'll see the uh, baking instructions to bake your dragon, rock art dragon. If you like this kind of content please subscribe to my channel. I do many videos along these lines. Please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share it with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Be creative. Have fun in your life. And have a great day.